so in the previous video we talked about Huygens principle and in this video we're going to continue to look at Huygens principle okay so Huygens principle helps to explain reflection refraction diffraction and interference and it's also related to other experiments which we'll briefly touch upon them. so let's look at some wave fronts and these wave fronts are traveling from left to right and they, oh no, hit a barrier. This barrier is a brick wall. Now, let's say that these waves are light waves. And we know that when light waves go, well, they can't go through a brick wall, obviously, because there's a shadow. But they can go here, because there's nothing there to block these light waves. So what happens to the uh, wave pattern here. Well, if we remember, each point on this wave front is a point source for a spherical wave. So that means the next wave will be here, and the next wave here, here, and here. So right here, this is light, you'll see light, and this is dark. Now, similarly, if instead of a wall, we have a different barrier, which looks like this. So it's a, just a barrier with a slit. And we're going to have, again, light waves. Let's say these are light waves. And again, they can't go past this point. They just can't go through the barrier. But what happens here? Well, we see this interesting pattern that looks kind of like this. So we see spherical propagations. And this leads us to Young's double slit experiment, which we will briefly take a look at. So what his experiment was like, I'll use black, he had a barrier with two slits. And he had light waves coming towards this barrier, kind of like this, going this way. And again, light waves cannot go past this barrier, but it can go through here and here. So similarly, the pattern looks like this. Let's just draw this out. But it doesn't just go through here. It also goes through here. So we see the exact same pattern, just like this. And let's look at where the waves are in contact with each other. So right here, 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 right here, 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 and here. What happens at this point, or these points, is constructive interference. So what this means is the crests come together. So we have one wave, and then we also have another wave, and we know that this results in a wave with double the amplitude. That's exactly what's going on, constructive interference. But that's not all that's going on when the waves come in contact with each other. Because look, right here, um, here, here, about here, just in between, right here. This destructive interference. And this is um, sort of the opposite of constructive interference. It's when the trough meets the crest. So you have something that looks like this meeting with something that looks like this. Well, they cancel out, and you're left with this. And this was looked at in the previous chapters of the textbook. So again, what does this mean? Well, this just means that the waves will interfere with each other. There's interference. So Huygens principle can be used to explain interference. So looking again at constructive interference, we've seen this before. Right here, this is our wave front. As we saw in the previous video, there's spherical waves. And right here, there's constructive interference. 
So we won't go into detail about Young's um, double slip split double slit experiment. <laughs> Sorry, that'll be for another video. But thank you for watching.